How's it going everyone? Daxwells here and today we're going to be reacting to I did a thing. This is the most dangerous thing I have ever made. It's the name of the video. So hopefully he doesn't hurt himself, but let's get straight into it. Okay, so away we go. How are you going? Now usually when I make How a are video, you going? I start by trying to justify the absurd thing I'm doing. Mm -hmm. The frost left hand. Wait, one? Mostly so it drags out and I get more money, but also so I feel a little bit more sane. But with this video, I really don't have a reason. Besides oh. that you all kind of bullied me into making it. Flame you know, okay. If you've also got an idea that will hurt me, join my Discord or Twitter and let me know. Like Barack mm -hmm. Obama, who wants me to go skydiving after pepper spraying the instructor. All right, Thank you, Obama. And I think I've got the perfect thing. This broken outdoor heating lamp we've never used, which should yeah. have all the necessary never components used. I need to make a good flamethrower. Like this switch, this grill thing here, this igniter, a gas hose, and this American soldier who loves burning Vietnamese children. Hello. Uh, I'm going to move this wow. so I get cold, but uh, you can come with me if you want. Yeah, I'll just grab the chair. <laughs> So today, okay. I'm going to bung together a flamethrower that will hopefully warm the hearts of even my most American viewers. <laughs> and the first thing I should do is probably take it apart to see what things I have to work with. And then Wait, I should I'm an outdoor heater and not use it. parts together in a way that looks like a flamethrower. And I'm really hoping I won't have to buy anything and can I'll use things already Alien available spaceship. in my garage as I went a little over my porn budget in the last video. So I'm liking what porn. I've got so far. We've got screws that go both in and out, okay. some useful spider webs, a nozzle, Ew. and this thing, which I don't really know what it is, but it makes a rather <laughs> nice noise. Ah, it says okay. dump switch. So that explains what I've been doing wrong all these years. Ah. Now, wow. I don't know why, okay, but sometimes I dude. get really impatient while taking things apart. Like instead of just undoing this screw, I decided mm -hmm. to ignore it and just bend the metal to get the temperature probe out. And I kind of open my mail in a similar way. Oh, I think no. I might actually just be part oh. rat. And speaking of animals, <laughs> while taking the main body apart to get to these poles, mm -hmm. something softly touched my hand. So I tried um. to find it in order to reciprocate the touching. <laughs> And did not expect to find this big boy. And usually oh. I attempt to catch them and release them outside. But this guy was probably the biggest huntsman I've ever seen. And instead decided to let him permanently live in my garage. What? So this is it all taken apart. And I think I've got a rough idea of what I want Bruh. to do. So That's the I'll spider's the like, garage the now, bro. With the hose running inside the garage. frame of the lamp. Then I'll add this accumulation tank, which will also double as a handle. Then I've got the valvey switch thing. Sorry, I've heard none of this. I got too distracted with the spider. I, I could not go to Australia. I could not. That, 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 no, no, bro. Let the gas out through oh. the nozzle. Now, the smart ones amongst you will have noticed let's, at the let's front, out which will let the I, I didn't get any top, of it. And I think I've got a rough idea of what I want to do. So I okay. have the gas bottle mounted on the top with the hose mm -hmm. running inside the metal frame of the lamp. Then I'll add this accumulation tank, which will also double as a handle. Then I've got okay. the valvey switch thing at the front, which will let the gas out through the nozzle. Now the smart ones amongst you will okay, have I can see I'm it. planning to use this little propane bottle instead of the big fella that came yeah. with the heat lamp. And that's well, because yeah. firstly, it's big, Too much, so I'll need yeah. a strap to my back. And then if anything <laughs> goes wrong and it blows up, I would probably be yeah. more dead than if I was using the little one. And True. also, if I use this little gas canister, it kind of looks like Elon Musk's flamethrower, but hopefully True. not quite as boring. So in order to <laughs> use a small canister, I need to modify this hose to accept it. And luckily, I have this yogurt container filled with old gas fittings that I've collected over the years. What? What? No. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. That's not, that's not. Oh. Come on, please. Just look at what it is before you eat it. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I think I can just cut off this old nozzle. Ew. Tap a thread in and then put Ew. this hose on, which fits into the new gas nozzle. And just ignore the fact that this hose is now brand new looking and slightly longer. That happens sometimes <laughs> when machining parts together. And this is basically oh, okay. a flamethrower done, okay, dude. it doesn't look like one. But I still can't resist giving it an early test to see I'm sorry? if I'm on the right track. Um. Okay. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. 
<laughs> Should not be on. Oh. Um. And leaks everywhere. Jesus Absolutely Christ. everywhere. I don't think there was a single connection point that didn't catch on fire, which is pretty bad, but also kind of impressive. Also, the flame is pathetically <laughs> small, and that might be the fault of the nozzle um, here, but I'm hoping that because a team of scientists small, but okay. designed this heat lamp, that hopefully they created a nozzle that works, and it's just the lack of gas flow that's creating a small flame. And using yeah. this pile of gas-detecting powder I've collected over the years, we can see that there is heaps of gas escaping out of other places where it's not meant to be uh, So I think I've got no choice but to use some Teflon tape. Yeah, and my um, whole life, I thought yeah. Teflon tape was kind of a scam. Just one of those add-on products that you don't really need. You know, similar <laughs> to those shoe sticks. Which you oh, no, they actually work. Because the shoe salesman somehow convinced you that in order to get the full shoe experience, you need to put them right. on using a slippery stick. And the guy's wearing them a suit back and in, has right? nice hair, so you trust him and you buy one. But then you realise <laughs> it's a big lie. Shoes it's feel not exactly a lie. The same. And now whenever you put them on, you look like a wanker while doing it. So please, <laughs> no matter how lost you're feeling in life, do not buy a shoe. <laughs> but with uh, Teflon tape, that's not true. They do work. <laughs> this is a glass no. fitting in the bath without oh, the tape. Oh, okay. And now with the tape. Oh, bug. No bubbles. It is pretty good bubble bath, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And this video isn't I just hope he's wearing some Mr. shorts Teflon. in that. The offer is there if you want it. I now literally use your tape on everything. All right, let's move on to building the body. So I have these two poles, and I'm imagining that I can join them together and then also get this plate thing on the end, which kind of looks like the butt of a gun to rest against my shoulder. And I don't know okay. how long I want it exactly, so I just closed my eyes and picked a random spot. Then oh, okay. used a grinder to cut it down. And so is he going to weld them together? I think I found a use for this metal hat thing on top of the lamp. It fits Couldn't that start a fire? On top oh. of my bin and stops it from catching on fire. Okay, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> used to protect my head as well. Pog, he looks like someone out of Dark Souls. Oh no, he's having flashbacks. Oh, stop. Stop. Not numb. Dude's having Vietnam flashbacks. Now that it's oh cut, my I'm God. going to attempt welding Eight. it together. And I don't have magnetic <laughs> strips, so I'm just going to use some duct tape to hold it in place until I get some tack welds down. And oh, I don't okay. know how I do it, but every time I weld, I somehow get worse. It's a constant <laughs> battle of getting the stick stuck, dropping it on the ground and being unable to pick no. it up, and then melting through my workpiece. And this oh. doesn't look like it's going to hold at all. So I just no. welded over the seam three or four times, and hopefully that should hold up. Okay, now that I have my okay, slightly looks better. Looks hole, good. I'm going to cut a hole in it here, so the handle and accumulation tank pokes out. So I just drilled okay. a little hole to check it was in the right place before attempting to use this cheap coring bit to make the right shape. And I'm willing to bet um, all of you a fiver that this drill bit doesn't work. The fact you called it cheap and said it doesn't work means it will work, 100%. See, I yep. told you. Never mind. <laughs> I was wrong. Plus God the dollar I gave damn it. The bus. So I expect, what? Uh, uh, $6.96 million in my bank account by next Thursday. And speaking Jesus of money, I decided I'm going to try using Patreon more instead of doing crappy sponsorships. So if you sign up now, wow. you'll get early access to my videos, wow. behind the scenes footage, and maybe if I can convince them, even a little sneaky foot photo. You see, one of them is a little shy, but the other one is super mm -hmm. keen. Oh, okay, oh no. To drilling. So then I oh, used no. the correct drill bit and made the hole and then screwed it together. And this thing is starting to look pretty good. Kind of like the fog oh, you see in video games. Except mm. my cord is too long and I can't cut it. So I'm just going to have to try and fold it inside the tube and then have oh. it come out of this grill section. So I okay. just use my same trusty drill bit to make another hole. And now I might just be able to Whoa. stuff all of it into the casing. And my while God. I'm doing that, I wanted to quickly explain why I bothered putting in this accumulation tank. 
So if I didn't have this little tank right here and just connected the bottle straight to the nozzle, the gas that is able mm -hmm. to come out of the nozzle would be very limited as there isn't much space for the gas to build up beforehand inside the hose. But if I put okay. a tank here, it fills up with gas. So then when the valve opens, there is a large amount of gas eager to get out. And I think a good way to understand it is to think of the hose without the accumulation tank as a single file line at the shops where everyone comes in slowly one by one compared to a Black Friday stampede where everyone <laughs> runs in at once, falling over and crushing each other. The second okay. one is a lot more fun with a lot more energy and exactly what I want coming out of the end of my nozzle. <laughs> okay, so I've got it all together except this nozzle. And I don't really like this doily looking thing on the front, so I'm going to cut mm -hmm. it off. And that looks much more like a familiar flamethrower nozzle. And I've just realized that I can also utilize this metal rod underneath to hold the igniter flame. And some of you may be disappointed that I'm not using the original spark igniter, but firstly, it would be very hard to time the spark with the burst of propane. And secondly, I kind of broke it. So instead, I'm just gonna <laughs> bend the metal rod to shape and then have a John Wick in front of the nozzle for a constant flame. Okay, not just a, a couple Wick. of things left to do before I can burn myself. I'm gonna cut off the rest of this metal thing so I can securely attach the metal nozzle. And then I need some way to secure secure the gas canister up here and I think mm. I know the perfect free thing I can use the water holder from my bike which I never oh. really use as okay. I'm always embarrassed to put my supermarket brand bottle in as all the other bikers have their designer bottles and camelbacks and they'll make fun of me so instead I just usually drink all the water I'm going to need for my ride in advance in that way I don't have to carry um. it and this bottle holder does also have this toolkit which is kind of useful but I found you can just consume those beforehand as well okay so I attached that and it's looking pretty good <laughs> Does my profile picture also agree? Do you think so? Oh. And I think we are ready for a proper test. <laughs> and besides what all of you usually say on my videos, this time I'm remembering to follow safety procedures. Like Thank keeping you. the fire extinguisher on hand and it's removing not even any working. flammable objects from the How, area. What are you putting out like with that? And now, okay. And test time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, oh no! That is not where fire is going to be coming. That's yeah. From. Okay, so I think why? A couple of leaks, or it could oh, be no. an inbuilt safety restrictor in the valve. So I'm going to try open so, it up and take it out. And I hate safety okay. features like in Nerf oh, guns no. where they put a single piece of plastic in to stop you shooting at a fun speed, or seat belts that stop oh, you rolling really? around in your car. I didn't car. know that. And I find I'm happier um, when I remove as many of these as I can from my life. So oh god. I up the valve and I oh think god. I found the Wait, hold up. From my that was life. a fake seatbelt, right? So I opened up the, the real valve ones behind it. I think I found the culprit, which is this little <laughs> O-ring that is meant to sit on the end of this spring and stop the gas coming through, but it keeps popping okay. off. So I just super glued it back on and then put a big bolt in the end to plug oh, the hole. And I now, see. hopefully, I should not hear the noise of any gas escaping. Like and subscribe. <laughs> and I was thinking I thought it was a sun, the okay. Nice. Job, but after trying out what the colors look like on my computer, mm -hmm. I don't think I like the painted look very much. Oh my god. Okay, flame test round two. That, that hurt looking at that. Oh, even changed the switch. Oh, it's still blowing up. Why is it still blowing up? Wait, what is it then? Now that is what I want. And I am still getting pretty big gas leaks. Yeah. But add a little bit of excitement to using it. And I'm quite it, happy with does it. it. This probably beats the knife throwing book trap as the most irresponsible thing I've ever made. What? So let's go test it outside. Oh no. <laughs> in the midst of a bushfire crisis tonight, the likes of which this state has never seen. Police say they're searching for a suspected arsonist after they were alerted to some abnormal fire activity. Fire crews saw a new outbreak of flames and a person nearby. If people are going to do this sort of stupid, stupid things, look, there's no place in this world for them. These residents here are absolutely furious that this could possibly be the work of an arsonist and this very much remains a crime scene here tonight as police investigate exactly how this Yo, he has jokes to too much, man. Okay, maybe maybe it's best if I um if I test it indoors.
Um, so I've got various items to test the flamethrower on to see if it can do everything a good flame is meant to do. So let's start okay. with some sparklers. Yo! <laughs> Not working. Yeah, it's coming straight through the nozzle. Okay, okay not let's bad. Let's test something a little more Australian. Not a koala. He's got to aim a little bit lower, that's it. Poor koala. Oh my god. He's done it. He's made a work in flamethrower. The government for the impending extinction of Australia's koalas, but no, I think it's actually because they are so flammable. And let's do the last <laughs> test, a steel beam. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do with that? He's going to try to burn it? I don't think anything's going to happen. On a steel beam? And I don't think the flame is hot enough. Nah. And after all these tests, I realised I've made this thing horribly. I kind of wanted right. to make it easy for myself by not having to change the actual lamp much. So I left the trigger on the side here, but it's really uncomfortable to hold. And also I get burnt when the gas escapes. Yeah. Also, the handle accumulation tank oh plan is horrible as it fills up with liquid propane and freezes, oh. making it impossible to hold. The whole thing is also trying to way lick too it. long and I don't know how I thought I was actually going to use it in this position. Oh, okay. And just to be safe, I think I need to make this clear. Even though I've called this a flamethrower in the title, it's not mm -hmm. actually. The definition of a flamethrower is a device that shoots a stream of flammable liquid. Mine does uh, not do this shoots. At all. Think of mine yeah. as just kind of a slightly larger cigarette. Lighter. Pack. And even yeah. though it looks cool and is hundreds of times bigger than the flame okay. that originally came out of this canister, and better than Elon Musk's. If you compare it to <laughs> any other flamethrower on YouTube, it's pretty pathetic. And it would actually be more say effective to just get a water pistol, put petrol in it, and then put a candle on the front. But I'm not allowed to do that, as it's illegal. And actually, I'm <laughs> not sure if what I'm doing right now is illegal either. So if I don't upload for a long time, it's not because my upload schedule is crap <laughs> and I'm procrastinating. It's because I've been tagged by the police. But okay. You know what? If there are some cops watching right now, could you at least like this video and subscribe <laughs> before coming to arrest me? Thank you so much for watching. Oh, if you like this video, Christ. please subscribe and check out some of the other dumb things I've made. That was a good video. Very good video. I enjoyed it very much. It was uh, very crazy and um, yeah, don't try this at home as usual. But yeah, it was, it was great. I'm glad we got to see the profile picture walking about. He's just doing well. <laughs> Didn't have his Crocs on though, but you know. Okay, everyone, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. Enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, comment, which you like me to react to next. Subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. Laters.